All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk about mindset a little bit because it's something that as entrepreneurs, we all deal with and there's really not much training available on it. We are uh, kind of pioneers in this business and you need to be in the right mental state in order to do it correctly. So we're going to talk about a couple things for you in this video, talking about attitude, failure, effort, consistency, and reality. Okay, this is stuff that We've got to keep in the back of our mind at all times because it's going to really um, allow us to navigate these waters uh, successfully. So the first thing is attitude. 99% of success is between your ears. All right. It doesn't matter um, what idea you have or what training you have or anything like that. If you think you can or you think you can't, you're going to be right. So it just goes back to good old Yoda and do or do not. There is no try. All right. So we're not going to try this. We're not going to try and see if this course works. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it or we're not going to do it. So the key to that um, is surrounding yourself with really positive people. So when you're working online, you'll get a lot of people that will be doubters and they just don't understand it. They don't get it. Um, my parents and my grandparents uh, never I can never explain to my grandparents before they passed what this was all about they just didn't get it the online world was some uh, other universe to them even my my mom uh, doesn't really get it she she knows that I work online but she doesn't know what I do she doesn't get it and when I tell her you know I'm just an online marketer I sell things to people online she just can't wrap her head around it she doesn't get it she doesn't believe in the online stuff she uh if you talk to her about like dating sites and all that, she's totally against it because that's not how you meet people. You go to like the Sunday church uh, brunch or whatever, or mass to meet people. I don't know. But nowadays, things are changed. People actually do go online. Do, they do a lot of stuff online, but the generation up there doesn't really get it. Um, however, that same generation, while they don't understand how people are selling to them, they do buy a lot of stuff online. So it's crazy. So, um, but that, uh, that's a little sidebar, but you need to surround yourself with positive people. You're in the right place here because you will be surrounded by positive people. We don't tolerate negative people in this course at all. If you're going to be negative, there's a door, go use it. Don't let it hit you in the butt on your way out. All right. I have no use for negative people in my life either. So failure, here's something you're going to fail. I guarantee it. If you don't fail, you're, you're never going to succeed. So why would I say that? Well, the only difference between a big producer and you is the number of failures. They failed more than you. Okay. And when you fail, you get that much closer to success because you're actually going to find something that does work and pays for all those failures 10, hundred times over. So you have to put stuff out there to test it, to see if it's working and you have to fail a lot. Okay. Don't be afraid of it. Just accept that this is part of it. No matter how good you are at this, you're always going to fail with one or two or three or four or five things before you hit that sixth or seventh or eighth one that actually works. I'm the same way. My success rate with this is, well, with t-shirts and that sort of thing and online marketing and selling physical products is about 30%. So 30% of the designs and the ideas that I have, they actually work. The other 70% fail, but I could never actually experience that 30% if I only put one or two out there and then threw in the towel and said, ah, this doesn't work. I give up. You can't do that. You got to keep going. So don't be afraid of it. You miss a hundred percent of shots you do not take. Okay. Effort. This is my favorite because you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make him drink. I can show you everything and I'm going to, I can prove it to you that it works, but I can't make you do it. Okay. Instead of questioning everything, and when I say questioning, I mean, um, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? Just try it, okay? We're giving you the blueprint. You have to build your own little empire with it. If you do the work, you will, if you, oh, sorry, if you do not do the work, you will guarantee failure. That's the way to guarantee, and this failure is a bad one where you don't ever succeed at it. Do the work does not mean one shirt a week, okay? In this case, necklace. I forgot to edit that. It means more than that, way more than that, like seven, 10, 25 a week that we're going to be testing. Consistency. Don't go on the effort roller coaster. Be consistent. So sometimes we, 
we'll put up uh, five or ten necklaces and maybe one or two will actually be worth uh, growing or launching and scaling. And well, when I say launching, I mean the phase with Facebook ads where you're actually starting to pump some time and energy and budget into it. Um, then we kind of sit back on cruise control and go, ah, we did it. We, we have, we're getting like a really solid ROI and now we can, we can just sit back and go to that beach and sip margaritas and have paychecks rolling all day or checks rolling, not paychecks. So that's not the case. You have to be consistent, consistent effort equals consistent results. So I should say too, inconsistent effort equals inconsistent results. I'm guilty of not being consistent sometimes myself. But I always find the way I get out of my sales slumps is I add in consistent effort. So every day I'll say, instead of working sometimes in big batches for like a day or two, maybe I'll just do a little bit every day. And that, that helps me get out of slumps. The reality is this. If you're spending $5 per day, you're never going to do $10,000 per month. Okay? If you're spending $5 per day times 30 days in a month, that's $150 per month that you're putting out there on your ads on your expenses. If your ROI is 100%, that means you're going to be profiting $150 per month on that budget of $5 per day. So keep that in mind, okay? When you're buying traffic, which we're going to show you how to do, you have to spend money to make money. The more you spend, the more you can make, okay? It's all directly related. And this goes back to uh, what's the difference between you and a big producer? A big producer has failed more, and they've also they also spend way more than you do. So you got to keep that in mind. It's directly related. So here's the summary. You're going to go through an emotional roller coaster. I guarantee it. Everybody does. I still do it. I've been doing this forever. Stick to the things that work. Okay. Maintain a great attitude. Do not fear failure. Actually embrace it. Actually accept it. Put in lots of effort, be consistent, and be realistic always. Okay, we're here to help. You're going to surround yourself with positive people. And there's no reason why this can't work for you unless you don't want it to. It's all between your ears. It really, really is. Okay, so I look forward to diving into this and getting to the meat and potatoes. And it's coming up soon.